weekend. The voice of the late Ed Bradley covering the fall of Saigon for CBS News in 1975, 48 years ago today. The last U.S. personnel evacuated the South Vietnamese capital, effectively ending the Vietnam War. For Vietnamese Americans, it marks the day they were forced to flee the communist invasion. Many settled in San Jose, and as Len Ramirez reports, today the city came together to remember. Well, the flag of the Republic of Vietnam flies right alongside the stars and stripes here at San Jose City Hall as the Vietnamese American community comes together, not in celebration, but in remembrance of a very dark day in their history. 48 years after the golden red striped flags fell in Saigon in 1975, marking the end of the Vietnam War, they were raised again alongside the American flag at San Jose City Hall. In somber ceremonies, Vietnamese Americans and San Jose leaders gathered to remember the country and the lives in both countries that were lost in the war. Very sad day, very sad day, why we, we, up, up, uh, we, we won uh, Black April 30. Ha Tru says it was the end of the war and the beginning of his own personal struggle for freedom. After this day, next, next, next day, they put me in the jail and they get out and they escape from the, to Vietnam to America. Many families struggled to leave Vietnam or face incarceration or death. Their journeys are commemorated in a photo wall at the City Hall Rotunda. San Jose became home to thousands of refugees and to this day is the city with the largest Vietnamese population outside of Vietnam. The story of the fall of Saigon, the incredible loss and suffering that the Vietnamese community endured is a reminder to all of us as to how fragile our democracy is and the sacrifices that we must be willing to make. We work, we help, and we thank Americans or accept us. And Vietnamese Americans like Ha Tru say they will never forget how much this country and this city welcomed them.